Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry not to be with you on this special evening, but particularly wanted to send you all a brief message to offer my heartfelt congratulations to all the awards winners and finalists for their outstanding commitment and contribution in so many innovative ways. The Business in the Community Awards are a real opportunity to celebrate the positive contribution of business in society, to spread best practice and remind us all just how much value businesses can add to communities and to the people who live and work in them. Now, having been president of Business in the Community for very nearly 30 years, it seems to me, for what it is worth, that the need for our organisation and for the collaborative action by businesses that it inspires has never been greater. The challenges that some local communities today are facing are immense. We are finally beginning to realise, but very nearly too late, that natural capital is limited and the Earth's resources are finite, something which is starting to impact on our business models and how we do business. It is vital, therefore, that we find more sustainable ways to live and work, and it is the leadership of businesses which can do so much to bring about this change. Consequently, I am much encouraged by the inspiring examples of change and impact which show us what really responsible businesses can do. In the past, some thought that corporate social responsibility was somehow bolted onto the existing business. Today, we know that responsibility has to be integral to all our decisions and the way we do business. We are, whether we like it or not, in a different world now, where responsible leadership is about being able to balance urgent short-term demands at the same time as managing the transformational changes needed to address our longer-term sustainability. And, of course, there is a connection. If we do not address today's challenges, how can we create healthy and prosperous high streets, resilient local communities, engaged and active citizens, as well as maintain and skill up the talented workforces we need to manage the changes and innovations for a dangerously unpredictable future. It gives me great pleasure to announce that my ambassador in Northern Ireland is someone who has a long history of involvement with business in the community, having been chair of the board in Northern Ireland between 2005 and 2009. His leadership and vision have been truly valuable, not only to business in the community, but also to his own company, Bombardier Aerospace, uh, which is one of the biggest employers and attractors of inward investment into Northern Ireland. I am delighted, therefore, to announce that this year, my ambassador in Northern Ireland is Michael J. Ryan, Vice President and General Manager of Bombardier Aer Aerospace. Michael has been at the forefront of efforts in Northern Ireland to encourage long-term unemployed people back to work, having for the past 10 years chaired the West Belfast and Greater Shankill Employers Forum. The forum was uh, established in 2003 to help break the, the generational cycles of unemployment in some of the most deprived areas of Belfast and indeed uh, the UK. In that time, the Employers Forum has mobilised a wide range of employers from different sectors to engage with local community partners with a view to upskilling the workless and moving them into jobs. Over 1,300 people have gained jobs as a result of the Forum's efforts, changing lives and making local communities stronger and more sustainable as a result. Michael has, um, has also been a tireless source of strength and support to business in the community, and I could not be more grateful for his powerful leadership and energy. He has been an inspiration to many, and without doubt has helped change many lives in the course of his work. I am delighted that Michael is to be my ambassador for Northern Ireland this year, and needless to say, I much look forward 
to seeing how his work develops. Michael, thank you for your commitment and I do hope you all enjoy the rest of the evening.